All right, Shalom. First, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Raka Kadash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moson and rule well. That's right. And you know, Shalom to the to the to the election of Israel, man. That's right, man. Uh, just a quick lesson we wanted to go into, you know, um, regarding uh, <coughs> you know this word, man. Okay, how it cleanses you, how it it, it it hydrates you, it nourishes you, and it brings you out of that dead state that we were in. Uh, as it's written in uh, Ezekiel, um, is it 37? Yeah, 37 about the valley of the dry bones, mm -hmm. you know. And um, we were in that dead state, man, okay, not knowing not knowing who we were, not knowing any, any knowledge, right? Not knowing anything, but the Lord actually put a spirit on his men to get this knowledge and, and to, to be cleansed by this word and washed and come back, come back anew, man, you know? I've got a preset for you. Go on, man. This is Psalms, since you was mentioning about the water cleansing you. Mm. It sends, uh, it's Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Yeah, so it's by taking heed to the word. The word is what purifies you, what cleans you, man. Okay? And, and, and you know, that's heavy, man. <laughs> that's real heavy. Because, you know what, when you drink water... Okay, you might go on like, for example, you might go on a water fast as an example, and that will cleanse out your body, man. It will actually, the, the hydration will keep you going, work certainly certain body functions, and it will cleanse you out internally, your system, and it will clean out all the toxins and all that. Mm. But spiritually, that's the same thing that's happening with this word, man. It's cleansing us, man, you know. It's, the, right. it's the Lord that's really cleansing us, that's cleaning us, you know. And if you, if, you don't, if you don't allow the Lord to clean you, then you can't be part of this word, man. You know, right. that's what the, that's what the, that's what it is. Right. right. Um, if I can say this, because you got a lot of these uh, these pastors, they'll tell you to come to the church and dip yourself in some holy water, man. All right, and and they'd say that that's what cleanses you, but really and truly, I mean, hey, to be honest, you can do that, but really, it's the water of the word that really cleanses you, man. All right. Yep. You got to be washed with the water of this word, man. This 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 word is described as being water. All right, and it, and it's constantly flowing. All right, and I got a precept for you, bro. Come on. Ephesians uh, chapter 5 and 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that's right so that's what's happening man and you know what as we're coming into this truth we're getting closer and closer to Yahweh Bar Shemiah Shah we're becoming closer as the Lord's cleansing us but those guys out there dipping their heads into, into, into bowls in the churches okay what they're doing is they're doing wickedness mm -hmm. those are the, the scriptures talk, call them um Harlot houses, houses, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all manner of wickedness and adultery is happening in them. So you think you're gonna see? That's what Jake liked to do. Jake like a quick fix. Jake liked to commit all that wickedness, dip their head in some water, and then carry on keep doing that wickedness. That's not what you're meant to do. That makes you go further and further from your house, Shmi Al Shai, man. Mm. You know, I just got a quick scripture. Yeah, can't. Yeah, can't. this is Isaiah chapter five, verse thirteen. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge mm. and their honourable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Mm. That's why they're dried up, man, because they're in that dead state and they, <laughs> the Lord set them up to be in that dead state. They're not trying to get close to the Lord. They want to be part of that group that was done away. For you are not my people. They're, they're trying to be part of that group, man. You, you want to be of the Israel of the Most High. You want to be dealing with knowledge, man. You want to be... Because what does it mean to, to deal with knowledge in this truth? It means you're, you're basically being Israel, sons of the most High, and the princes of the power. That's what you want to be. But these guys out here who are, are, you know, are people by seed, they're not are people by spirit, man, the way that they're dealing. Okay, they're not coming in the right state of mind. And because of that, they're going to be destroyed, man. Because of the iniquity we committed for being away from Yahweh Shemel Shai, for not being cleansed and becoming dirtier, we were going off on the law and all that. We were going into captivity, man. Go on. You know? And this is Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's right. All right? And where is that knowledge contained? That knowledge is contained in, within the word. Yep. Which is the water of the word, which is, which, which is what cleanses you. That's why the brother read the scripture in Isaiah 5 and 13. My people are gone into captivity and their honorable men are famished. That's right. You know, and dried up with thirst. Right, if you dried up with first, that's why we say a lot of the time, uh, you know, like brother mentioned Ezekiel 37 about the valley of the dry bones. So a lot of our people are spiritually dehydrated. Mm. Right? A lot of our people are thirsty, which goes back to what? The woman at the well. 
which will, the brother, you know, we was going to get into that, that's right, you that's know, right. in John the fourth chapter, because a lot of our people, they're wandering around and they're famished, man. They're hella first. They got the squams on the side of their lips. Yep. They're, they're wandering from, from, from pond to pond. Uh, and they're drinking of the water that's not the, of the water of the word they're drinking of the the, the, the world's uh, polluted uh, stale water the man. unfiltered water the unfiltered water because the filter is this this that's is the right. measuring stick this is what you filter with man can't <laughs> yeah. can't you know so really they're, they're, they're in a they're in a dehydrated state mm. you know they don't know what's going on and and, and, that, and that's what's basically keeping them in that dumbed out bugged out state because they're, they're still thirsty they're still remaining thirsty man that's right. You know, their their thirst is not being quenched, right? That's, right? That's why they constantly run. Oh, one minute Jake's in Islam, next minute he's he's a Buddhist, next minute he believes he's you know, uh, d d d d d you know, controls his own universe and all of that bullshit, that bugged out shit that they be getting into, man. You know, because they're always thirsty. That's you right. know, uh, uh, what was that Romans ten and two? Uh, for I bear them record, they have a zeal of the Most High, but not, but not according to knowledge. knowledge, right? It says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yep. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's right, that's right. You know? And that, uh, that knowledge has to be opened up to you, man. The Lord has to open up and bring out them floodgates, man. Kind. You know? And it's, hey, and Yahweh Shai, that goes through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and we're going to get into that um, in um, John the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we can get into that, man, because the Lord said it himself. So we just, we'll get the account. We'll go with that, man. We'll let the uh, scripture speak. Kind. This is John 4. And, uh,. <clears throat> You know, let me, I can start up, you know, from come, verse 9. Come, come. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me? Which am, in fact, let me start up, man. <laughs> it says, <laughs> verse 6, Now Jacob's well, there was Yahweh Shai, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. Now, uh, and it says, There come a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yahweh Shai saith unto her, Give me to drink. All right? Hey, and that's another thing, man. Hey, w w hey. it's funny because um, Apostle Taha, I know, sorry, Apostle Gobar, rather, did a video on uh, Anastrophe. Mm. And he was talking about how, you know, uh, Jake, you know, especially being a Hebrews, we, you know, our language is to be straight to the point. Especially men back then, they were more straight to the point. Nowadays, men talk to you, you know, with cloak and dagger, smoke and mirrors. You don't really know how someone's really coming to you, man. That's why in this truth, and there's one thing one of the brothers, the older brothers over here in London, tells us all the time, man. Pia, man, he says, you know, say what you mean and mean what you say, you know. And that's 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 our custom, mm -hmm. you know. You got to say what you mean and mean what you say as a man. So he came up to the woman at the well and he said to her straight, he said, give me to drink. You know, the, hey, the Lord was an austere man. The scripture does not the scripture say, I fear thee for thou art an austere man, you know. So he told her straight, he said, he said, give me to drink for his disciples. Now, if you, a man in today's day and age, you were to go up to a woman, you know, even, you know, going to Starbucks or whatever, you go into like Costa Coffee, mm. you know, you know, they, you know, they got some water there. Yo, give me to drink. Yeah. They look at you funny. Yeah, they ain't going to deal with that. They ain't yeah. going to deal with that. They think you're being, oh, you're too manly. Why don't you just, you know, ask the proper way? You know, you, you, uh, oh, please, uh, do you mind if I have a cup, you know, while you're yeah. holding your hand in your heart? Yeah. A cup of water, please. Oh, you know, you know? well, that, that way, see, that, that, that not being direct, that, that is like, uh, um, you know, uh, brought up in this, in this society, man. That's, that's uplifted in this society. Oh, to yeah. To come, all, you know, come all different ways and... and effeminate. And, 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 yeah, it's effeminate and, and, and in a snaky way, man. Not being upfront with what you're doing. But, and they'll, you know what they'll call that? They'll say that he's being, he's being rude. Mm. You know, that's what they'll say that because... Anything masculine in the society, they you know they ain't gonna deal with that, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, the, our Lord, you know, he was a very austere man, a very masculine man. Okay, and that is the the spirit that we come in, man. Yeah, we we come because hey, these guys see out in the world they'll say all kind of manner of madness, but at the end of the day, man, look, man, the Most High is a, the Most High, <laughs> you know, is a is a mas is masculine, man. That's okay? it. That's it. And his son is masculine. All right, it. father and son. Okay. That's and it, yeah, and the spirit of the Lord is dealing with us. That's right. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Shai rests upon us. So we're going to be, we, you know, we're ambassadors for Yahweh Shai. Come on. We're going to be moving like our master did, man. Oh, what is, what is that scripture? Um, the pasture of my flock is men. Mm -hmm. The flock, yep, yeah, the flock mm -hmm. of my pasture are men. That's right, that's right. That's right, I said it the wrong way around. But yeah, yeah that's what it is, man. <laughs> you know? Come on. Where you going, man? And in verse 8, it says, For his disciples were going to wait unto the city to buy meat. Mm. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, 
How is it that thou, being a, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which I'm a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Mm. All right, hey, that that is. So where's the equality in that? All right, hey, th- 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 she's she's outright saying, hey, I'm a heathen. Yep. You got no dealings with the heathens, because what you got to seem to realize is, hey, man, back in them times, I believe uh, in the book of Sec- uh, Second Kings, the seventeenth chapter, that was the split, the time of the split, where you had the uh, split between Rehoboam and, and Jeroboam, Jeroboam. Yep. the northern and the southern kingdoms, and then also the children of Samaria were placed there instead of the children of Israel. Mm. All right, mm. so that's where that goes back to. All right, because you had heathens dwelling in the land of Samaria at that yep. time. Yep. All right, so she says, "How, how be it that you have a you ask this drink of me? Jews ain't supposed to have no dealings with it because you're lowly, man." Mm. The mm. scripture says that the world was made for our sakes, man. You know, mm. but the thing is, hey, you heathens are gonna get into your right state of mind in the future in the kingdom where you are gonna be serving us wholeheartedly, yep. and you are gonna love it because it's gonna be in righteousness. The scripture says, "When the righteous are in authority, the people are gonna rejoice." Yeah, you know. Like in the time of King Solomon, his fame was noised, uh, noised abroad, man. Queen Sheba came to, you know, she said that the, the, the fame that I heard of you could, could not in comparison to what I'm seeing in person. Loosely paraphrasing, you know? Yeah. And it goes on to say, And Yehoah Shai said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Yehoah, <laughs> and who it is that saith, uh, saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Yeah. You know, that's why the Lord says what? He that have an heir, let him hear. Right? This is not for the heathens, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if, the, if the Lord was dealing with you, then you, you'd you be asking the right things. Yeah, but you've got to have faith. And it's funny because if you, if, if you, know, you knew the gift of Yahweh. That's it. You know, Ephesians says um, that faith is a gift. That's it. <laughs> you a know? gift. And the thing is, it's only a gift to the, to, to the Israelites. It's not a gift to the other nations. That's right. And even furthermore, she was a woman. Exactly. You know? And, and you know what the uh, word feminine um, yeah, uh, goes, beautiful. It goes back to um, lack of faith, basically. No faith. Is mm-hmm. Saying that correctly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, minus faith. Minus faith, that's it. Yeah, you know? hey, even the scriptures tell you that the uh, the Lord has not imparted unto the woman wisdom. Can't. I believe that's in Job somewhere. Can't, can't. You know? That's right, man. Hey, it's funny because you know what? That's why this water that we're going into, that the Lord's, the Lord's pouring upon his people in the right state of mind, putting us into the right state of mind. Hey, the, the other nations don't like that, man. Especially the elites of Esau, the so-called white man, mm. they don't like that man because then it's the same as in the ancient times when they see the Israelites coming back into who they really are, they ne- they fear that man because they know their their rightful place is below us. Can you know? It's only their pride that's keeping them going. Mm-hmm. And it says, if thou knewest the gift of Yahweh, right? Which is hey, like the brother was saying, put, hey, it's faith, man. You know, and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink. Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, you know what? He said, if, if, if you know, read that again. I'll... Can't. Read that. It says, if thou knewest the gift of Yahweh, and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink. If you knew who it is that gave it, say it to me, give it to me to drink. Now, if she knew who that was, right? Because a lot of our people today, they don't know who the Lord is. You know why? Because they ain't going according to what the scripture says. Because the scripture has an account of the Lord. But you know what the scripture says in um, John, you can get John 7 and 38? Yep, yep, There's yep. There's a precept to that. Yep, yep. Yep. This is, uh, in fact, can I, can I get a quick, quick yeah, one just on, on a yeah, point yeah, yeah, real yeah, quick? Yeah. This is a, a quick cut. This is John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. <laughs> I know them and they follow me. That's right. You know? Yeah. So when you go back to John 4 and 14, it says, uh, sorry, John 4 and 10. If thou knewest the gift of the Lord and who it is that saith unto thee, give me to drink. The, the Lord's sheep know who he is. That's right. That's right? right. They know they know him and they follow him, man. Yep. So, hey, if you knew who the Lord was in, in, in you know, mm-hmm. who he really was, then you would have asked of him of that living water and he would have gave it to you freely. That's right. And who's and who and who's the Lord's lambs now? Who's the Lord's sheep now? It's the ones that it says the scriptures say. Um, they follow the lamb whatsoever you yeah, go with. Yeah, that's right. That's talking about the elect, man. That's right, okay, bro. Because the rest of Israel, <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna die. They're gonna die, man. They're gonna die a gruesome death. But they're gonna come back in their right mind on the other side, man. Can't. You know? <laughs> Can't. This is John seven thirty seven. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, "If any man first, let him come unto me and drink." Yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean? Does that mean that the Lord's just ha- <laughs> handing out water? <laughs> He's got, you know, bottles of punna just lined up and stacked up in six, six packs? Mm. Is that what it means? No. 
the Lord's saying that if any man's a first spiritually, if you're feeling like dehydrated spiritually, mm-hmm. the Lord's gonna Lord's gonna give you hydrate you and nourish you and bring you back up, man. And cleanse you. Cleanse you. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. And you ain't gonna be thirsty, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be an honourable man that's famished and wandering from, from pond to pond. Being thirsty as hell, man, with That's the squams right. in the corners of your lips. That's right. You know, the Lord says, look, if you thirsty, let him come unto me and drink. Verse 38, he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So let's go back to uh, John and see what he said again, what the Lord said. Right. Back in John 4 and 10, it says, if thou knewest the gift of Yahweh and who it is that saith to thee, give if, me to drink. If you knew who it is, man. And a lot of people don't know who it is, man. They're following after some Jesus. They're following after some pasty-faced cracker, some Cesare um, Borgia, man. Mm. They're following after some 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 other heathen god. They don't see. They, they talk about Jesus, right? They be reading the scripture, but they don't. They don't even know who the Lord is, man. Mm-hmm. If you know who the Lord is, it says. What did it say in John seven, Salakia? It says back in John seven. And 38, he that believeth on me as the scripture have said. As the scripture have said. So, mm-hmm. hey, you got, you got to get this whole book, man, because the Lord come in the volume of the book. And That's there's right. certain records of what the Lord, the Lord said, did, and how he was, man. Okay? Yep. And the Lord can't, the Lord did hate. Okay? The Lord is coming back to, to lay the smack down, to, to kill, to slay. Okay? It's not all love. Okay? His love is for the, for the elect, man. Okay? For the elect of the, of the Most High, the elect of Israel. Okay, mm-hmm. so now we start to understand something more about his character. Okay, you're going on. Huh? Back in John 4 and 10. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Yahweh and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. That's right, man. All right. Hey, just going back to that John 30, Gen 7 38. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow, flow rivers of living water. Mm-hmm. And this and this goes to show, hey, even Bruce Lee said you must be like water, my friend. friend. Water can flow and water can crash. Alright? And this water is gonna be a it's gonna be constantly moving within you, man. Because mm-hmm. when you go into that word belly, I believe it goes into uh, the seat of your consciousness. Alright, which is your mind. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you believe on the Lord as the scripture have said, really out of your mind shall flow rivers of living water. When, what's the water? What? Mm-hmm. The water is the word. That's right. So out of your mind, it's going to flow the word constantly. Yeah. And the scriptures speak about the treasure of the heart. The, 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 the mouth speaketh. Can. You know, so whatever, whatever. That's why you're supposed to be meditating on, the, on this word day and night. Constant, constantly meditating on the word. Because whatever comes out of your mouth, if you're meditating on the word, hey, really, hey, the scriptures speak about in these last days being in holy conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that, that's that holy conversation, man. Yeah. And it should always be flowing. That's why you should never be running out of ideas of what to go into or what videos to do because if the Lord is really de- dealing with you, if you're really asking the Lord to sup with you, if you know the Lord and you follow him, mm. then really the Lord says, look, man, you ain't never going first again. That's right. That's you the know? spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's why the, the, the scripture says living water because the living water constantly flows. Constantly flows. Right? It doesn't stop. It's not like a tap. You can just turn off. Like if you see a river, when's the last time you saw a river stop flowing? Mm-hmm. Okay? It just keeps flowing, man. Exactly. That's the way the, the Lord, that's why the Lord didn't just say water, I said living water. It was specific. Okay? Yeah. And, that, and that's what it is like the brother's going into. It's got to be constantly flowing in your mind and that's how you know the Lord's dealing with you through your mind because this ain't of our own. It's uh, really the Lord that's got to put the spirit on you to let make that water flow to, to it, you know, yeah, to hey, do that, man. Hey, and if I can say this as well, sometimes, hey, sometimes the river flows slower than 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 others. Mm. Sometimes the river's just, you know, it's just a slow stream, you know. But sometimes it's rushing, yep. you know. So what you got to understand is, hey, the spirit is like the wind, yep. you know, water and can flow, and can crash. it can flow and it can crash, and you just got to go with it, man. That's All right, right I got a quick precept. Okay. This is John uh, three and twenty seven, and John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing." Except it be given him from heaven. Alright? So when you go back to John 4 and, and 10, it says, it says, he would have given thee living water. But yep. a man can receive nothing though, except to be given him from the heavenly father. So what you got to understand is that faith is a gift. Mm-hmm. This water, to be able to receive this living water, is actually a gift. You can't receive it unless it's been given to you from heaven. That's why it's a spirit that compels us to flow with this, with this water, this living water that we, that we have. You know, and you better you better pray to the Lord that the, the water keeps on flowing, lest it be stagnant and you just dry up, man. You become a dry bone, That's you know, right. and you become uh, dishonorable and famished, man. You know. That's right. You got any more in John four? Yeah, it keeps going. Um. 
right? And it says, and the woman saith unto him, Sir, that has nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then how's that? From whence then hast thou living water? So she couldn't even receive it. Yeah. Right? She couldn't understand it. She goes, like, yo, she's just carnal minded. She's, yo, when's that? When? When's how that living water? Yeah. The well is deep. Yeah, I yeah. got nothing to draw it with. She, yeah. He's just like, oh man, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? She's all she's all thinking kindly, getting a bucket, like physical labor, and getting like you're saying, the bottles of Evian or whatever. The Lord ain't talking about no bottles of Evian, bro. Yeah. The Lord is talking about the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that belly, man, that living water. The water that cleanses you, man. You That's know? Right. It says, it says, Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself, and his children and his cattle? And Yahweh answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Mm -hmm. Right? That's that carnal water, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You're, to, you're coming up that carnal way. All right? You can't come up some other way, man. And furthermore, you were heathen. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't partake of this. That's what are right. you talking about? Sit your ass down, woman. You know? A heathen at that. All right? The Lord says, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. So that ain't talking about no... Uh, like, you get an Evian bottle from the, from the corner shop, man. You drink that, hey, especially on a hot day. 27 degrees out, 30 something degrees. You drink that water, man. Hey, damn near two hours later, you thirsty again, man. That's right. And the Lord was saying that water in that well. Exactly. They ain't, they ain't, listen, you're going to drink that. It's going to make you thirsty again. That's it. The same water that you're talking about getting a bucket to draw out with. Right. That carnal water. Right. You know? I've got a preset after this as well. Can't, yeah. can't. Oh, you want to, yeah. It says, um, yeah, I mean, read it again. It's Gen uh, 4 and 13. And Yahweh Shai served unto her. Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Mm -hmm. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him mm -hmm. shall never thirst. You know what? I've got a precept for can't, that here. Yeah? Now, what, why did the Lord say that? Let's see, let, let's see what kind of water the Lord has given us, okay? I'm going to read this from, um, this is Isaiah chapter 12. The point is in three, but I'm just going to read it from one. And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou was angry with me, thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me. And that's the situation that we're in now mm -hmm. as we approach the kingdom of heaven. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. That is the point. Therefore, with joy shall he draw water out of the wells of salvation. Mm. Okay, so that's the true well. Okay, the Lord used that carnal well as an example. Said, look, you drink this water. You're gonna thirst again, man. Mm -hmm. But you drink, you drink out of the well of water I give you. You drink the water I give you. You ain't gonna thirst, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that's why we know that that's talking about the spiritual word, man. Okay, you know. Yep. So this is back in John four and fourteen. But so whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. <laughs> All right, hey, can you read that precept again, Baba Kashar? Because yes, I want to make a point. Go on, go on. All right, I want to make the you know the last verse that you just read. Right, the Isaiah twelve and three. Mm -hmm. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Out of the wells of salvation. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, and the thing is, this is what I'm saying. This word is going to lead us onto the path of salvation. That's right. This the water of this word is going to leave us, lead us onto the path of salvation. And if we be saved, we ain't never going to die. Because what comes with salvation? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be changed, all right. We're gonna be fashioned like unto His glorious body. It tells you that in Philippians, yeah. all right. And we're gonna have the new, uh, the new bodies, and according to the new covenant, the laws are gonna be written on our inward parts, and we ain't never gonna be thirsty, man. We ain't never gonna die. Right. We're gonna be immortal, man. Oh, death, where is that sting? All right. Because this water that, that the Lord's gonna give us, or the Lord is giving us, is a water springing up into everlasting life. We yeah. ain't never going to die unless we keep drinking from the water that the Lord has given us, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you got to believe that. And it takes faith, you know, to believe in that. But remember, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from the Heavenly Father. All right? So, um... Oh, is there any more in this one? Yeah. Verse 15. Then the, wo the woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come to draw, come hither to draw. So she was basically saying, let me have some of this water. Look, come on, man. Like, you really think the Lord's going to give water to a heathen, man? <laughs> Yahweh shall say unto her, go call thy husband and come hither. And the woman said, I have no husband. Uh, uh, and Yahweh shall said unto her, thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands. That's right. She and he, cut. yeah, she got cut straight, man. Yeah. 
You can't pull the wood over the Lord's eyes, man. Yeah, and we're gonna and that same that a uh, law said whatever you see me do, you're gonna do great in the kingdom. So the mm -hmm. same things that the law was doing there, he was basically reading our mind. He had a spiritual database. Oh yeah, you know, and we're gonna have that. These heathen ain't gonna be able to get one over us, man. <laughs> we're gonna have that in the kingdom, man. Okay, the guys are gonna be saying something in the spiritual database. They ain't even gonna dare to be doing that, man. Yeah, because heads are gonna get rolled. <laughs> That's you know, right. In that time, man. Let me jump down to the point, verse 21. Okay. Yehoah Shai saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, even that, the way he addressed her, woman. Mm -hmm. Look, man, hey, come on, man. He, he addressed his own mother in that fashion, man. Yep. All right? You, you go up to your mom today in this day and age, man. You're a woman. With this westernized mentality. Yeah. You know, yo, woman, can I have, you know, a plate? Uh, give me give me to eat, woman. Mm -hmm. You try to say that to, to your mom now, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They get all emotional. Because they've been brought up in a way where men have been brought up to be fucking effeminate, man. That's right. You know, that whole, you know, tiptoeing around everybody. Bro, say what you mean and mean what you say, man. You hungry? That anastrophe, man. Give me to drink. You know, just straight, man. You know, be straight and to the point. Live and direct. And that's how we really supposed to be coming, man. The Lord is building us to be real men. Not to be effeminate faggots, man. That's when we're out there on the highways and the byways. We address people live and direct. And they don't like it. Why? Because it goes against the very fabrication of Esau's faggot society, man. That's right. Everyone's so fucking, uh, oh, uh, you know, it, you know, you gotta have the proper fucking ex etiquette. Mm -hmm. I mean, what the fuck? Come on, bro. Yeah. It, you know, it's so, it's, it's so oppressing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They don't deal with what's being said. They deal with the, the, the emotions, the emotions of how things are being said and, and dealt with, and they can't yeah. deal with that. Yeah. Hey, what, what? Paul even said, "Though I be rude in speech, speech. yet not in knowledge. knowledge." You ain't even trying to hear what the man is saying. You just think, oh, how was it delivered though? How many times Jake come up? Oh, but, yeah, but I hear what you're saying, but you gotta come different though, like you, cause you're hurting the people, bro. Hand on his heart. Yeah, but the way you, you men are hurting feelings, bro. Bro, fuck your feelings, oh. man. You think you're gonna be worried about feelings when the Lord comes with them chariots That's like right. a whirlwind? You think you're gonna be worrying about how we deliver the message, bro? If we see you falling off a cliff, yo, you got your fucking Gucci shirt and we rip that shit. You about to die, bro. You can't, you, you think you're going to be worrying about how hard I ripped the shirt or whatever? I just saved your fucking life. Your precept. You got it up. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Boom. Spare no feelings, man. Mm -hmm. Cry aloud. And that's what we do, man. You know, live and direct. This place is going to be destroyed. That's right. right? Esau, you're going into slavery. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into, into captivity. captivity. Straight into the point. We ain't put, look, man, we ain't doing this cloak and dagger shit. We're coming to each, and that's what this, this this place doesn't like, man. All right, we're pulling down them strongholds, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is a so-called black man, mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. out of the tribe? We're coming bold with it, mm -hmm. and these people can't stand it. Oh, but wouldn't you? But why are you saying that? No, you people are going off. The scripture says, "Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering, man." Okay. It's long suffering to us to see our people doing the shit that they're doing, but it must yeah. be needs. We need hey, the judgment must needs to be read, you know. It says, um, and shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Now, if you're committing sins and you're going off, how are we meant to show your transgressions? Well, all when you do, when you when you was a little child, when you did something wrong, okay? okay. No, that's a good point. Right? Did, did your did your parents come to you with all nice and oh, you know, you did that, you know, you broke this and or you stole this and it's okay, you know? Did they come to you like that or did you get a whooping, man? Or did you get, you know, you got fucking reprimanded, man? Yeah. Okay, especially Jake families. You got fucking reprimanded. So when we're coming out here, okay, and we're reprimanding you, because it says that's what we're meant to do. Show my people their transgression mm. and the house of Jacob their sins. If you're showing someone their transgression and sin, if someone's wronged you, okay, right. which they've wronged the Lord, right, then how, how are you meant to come soft with that? How, what, how, Sway? <laughs> which, which, how are you meant to come soft with that, man? Straight. There's only one way that can, that can be done, and it's got to be done through harsh love. That's it. You know? That's it, man. You know, and hey, hey, like you said, hey, the key word is love. Mm. And that's real love, man. For this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments, man. That's right. That's, hey, that's, that's in First John 5 and 3. You guys are too, you, you, you got to you know, love everybody and show, you know. Bro, we're showing love to our nation by reproving you, man, and, and rebuking your ass. Letting you know that you're going off. Because there's going to come a time where hey, you're going to be in affliction and then you're going to seek the Lord early. Mm. Right? That's, that's, the, that's in the scriptures, man. There's going to come a time where you might be in a Grenfell Tower situation, man. And there ain't going to be no fire engines, man. They're going to be too busy, man. They're going to, bro, you ain't, there's going to come a time, hey, well, death shall flee from man. So then you're going to wish that you actually, oh, shit, I wish I took heed to that rebuke. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because then the Lord would have been with you, man. But no, if the Lord, ain't, that's why a man can receive nothing except to be given him from the heavenly father. If you ain't of the elect, you ain't going to get this water, man. You ain't going, you're going to be dehydrated until the missiles come and you're going to get further dehydrated, man. Yep. Like in War of the Worlds. Yep. You're going to get dehydrated physically on the spot, man. Yep. You could be backstroking in a lake of fire, man, over there in America. You know, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be uh, uh, stroking in them flames. All right. You're going to get eviscerated by a fucking hot, red hot laser beam. All right. Yep. The, the scripture says that Lord's going, uh, you know, raise a light was coming out of his hands, man. When you read the book of Habakkuk. All right. See, this is what I'm saying. People don't seem to realize that the Lord ain't no cuddly, you know, cuddly, waddly fairy tale. You know what I mean? This is not what this is about, bro. Mm-hmm. The Lord is coming with, hey, the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. You know? Yeah. Well, and, yeah. Sorry, what's that favorite scripture you talked to me about earlier? Revelation. Oh, Revelation 19. The, Revelation 19. Yeah, you might bro. as well say it. That's, that's the scripture right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you Come know, on. Because you're saying what the Lord's coming with. This is what the Lord's coming with, man. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is Revelation 19 and 11. And I opened. And, and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth judge and make war <laughs> there you go man man in righteousness it's righteous as well okay. right that's right bro okay, that's not, right not like Esau not like he's was and hey, that's real love Hey, Lord's really putting man out their misery, man. Yeah. All right, you, you guys are committing adultery. You're fuck. You, you're not honoring a dietary law. Yeah. You, you, you look, man. You, you, you know, here's the, the the manual to run the earth, and then you want to put you want to put diesel inside of a petrol car, or or, or fucking you want to put coke inside of a, a petrol car. You no, no, but I know it's gonna work. I'm doing it my own way. No, the Lord already told you the way to do it. Mm. So the Lord is gonna have to put you out of your misery because you look the way the way that the earth is being managed today. Headed by Esau, it's fuck. It's all fucked up, man. That's right. So the Lord is gonna have to wipe everything out and start afresh, and then according to the new covenant, then we're gonna be walking perfect with the Lord, man. Yep. That's then the Lord is gonna be established, and the Lord's gonna flow through the earth, man. Yep. And that's gonna be a perfect time. That's, that's right. why it's in righteousness. That's right. It's judgment to put a guy, a guy that likes to fuck your wife, all right, a guy that's a fucking rabid wolf, yep. and you can't, you gotta put him down, man. Yep. You got to put niggas down like that. Yeah. And then you got Jake out there. Yo, but you coming to fuck coming uh, soft on the people, man. Yeah. Like what the brother says, when you when you got a son and you want to tell him off, son, I don't think you should have um you should have smoked uh, weed and came home after curfew. No, bro. No. What the fuck you what, what time you call this, bro? Yeah. Yo, get me that belt. Bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you got you spare the rod, you spoil the child, man. That's right. And these fucking Israelites out here are fucking spoiled, man. That's right. They want shit their own way. They they have the father the devil and the loss of their father they are doing, man. They're in that whole do as thou wilt spirit, man. Yeah. And for that pride, you're gonna have to be destroyed. That's why it's righteousness, man. That's right, that's right. And they're in, they're in the what they're in the spirit of what? They're in, they're in the spirit of Babylon, man. Okay. Come on. Okay, and what did it say in the scripture? It says Bab- if, if Babylon could have been healed, but it can't be. Mm. There ain't no healing for this. That's why the Lord ain't coming on democracy. <laughs> That's not what this is about, man. That's not we can't build that way. Okay, you can't you can't repair something like that, man. Okay, you, it's got to be done away with. It's got to be completely and utterly destroyed. Can't. Okay, and Satan Satan is in the midst now, looking off into the into the car, trying to disrupt the flow, man. Yeah. Hey, Yahweh this, this this won't this won't stop, man. Okay, this oh. living wall will yep. keep coming out. Go on, yep, man. got a precept. It's Isaiah one and sixteen. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Mm. How are you gonna get washed? That's one of the first scriptures we brought out, man. Wash you with this word, man. That's right. That's the water, man. That's that living water. Jake don't want to take heed to this living water, man. Yep. Jake don't want to be washed. Jake want to be filthy, man. Yep. Jake want to be, you know, the scripture says men of darkness rather than light. They want to wallow around in this dark, dark society, man. All right. They don't want to be clean. Here it is. We're like, look, man, this water's going to cleanse you. This water's going to wash you, man. You ain't going to have to fuck your, your neighbor's woman no more. You ain't going to have to eat lobster, shrimp, all of the stuff that they make delicacies in this day and age. Really, it's an abominable, man. It's the same family as a cockroach to eat a lobster or, or a fucking shrimp. We're, 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 we're really exhorting our people, man. We're rebuking them and we're showing them the right way to live. But they don't want to be made clean, man. That's why, that's why the, the scriptures say you're going to be shamefaced. Can't. Because why are you shamefaced? Because, because of what you're doing to the Lord, man. Yo, Yahushai went on the cross for you, man. Mm. Yahushai took the ultimate L, man, so that you, so you guys could be okay. That's why you're going to be shamefaced, man. Okay? When, when the Lord went to clean his disciples' feet, okay? What did he say to Peter? Peter said, no, you know, don't do that, Lord. He said, hey... He said, if you don't do this, you don't let me do this, then you can't have no part with me, okay? 
These guys don't want to be clean, man. Okay. Mm. And when, what, what did Peter reply with? Well, my head also everything. Clean me up, Lord. And mm. that's the that, that when you come into this truth, you're gonna get rebuked. You're gonna get. You're gonna go through the trials, the trials and tribulations, man. And that's why the Lord is cleansing you. The Lord is is cleaning you up, man. Oh man, precept. Go on. Up. Jeremiah four and fourteen. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness. When you go into that word heart, it's, your, it's the love, which is your mind. That's right. What the Lord is saying, what? Like, hey, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, mm -hmm. out of his belly, out of what? The seat of consciousness, which is your mind. Yep, yep. Shall flow rivers of living water. That living water is going to flow through your mind mm -hmm. and clean your clout, man. Yeah. Oh, and, and one thing, how is it going to clean you? You're going to get cut. Okay, you might have a thought, right? Or you want to do something. Yeah, you're going to get that water cut. Right, yeah, you're going to get the water <laughs> cut. You're going to think to do something and then the scripture is going to cut you. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, that's a demon. Yep. Oh. And you're going to, you know what? You, the more, the more that you're in this thing, the more that you realise, yeah, how much of a piece of shit you are, man. Mm -hmm. the much You realise how how wicked your ways are, man. How, you still got that, you, it says the scripture. You're filthy. Our, our righteousness is as filthy rags. Yep, 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 yep that's the right. The Lord's going to come and clean us, man. He's going to, he's, clean, he, he's cleansing us. But you know, when that time has come, we're going to be in them white robes, man. Hey, okay? it's funny. It's funny if I can say this, bro. Just to back off your point, I've got filthy rags in the back of this van right now because of the job that I do. It's a filthy job. Yep. Now, earlier on, this the, it's the spirit because earlier on, I was trying to rinse out this filthy rag and I was using water constantly, using water and water and water. That kind of water, hey, it just no matter how much water I used, it wasn't getting clean, bro. Yep. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When well, our righteousness is as filthy rags, there's certain stains that you just can't get off of this carnal water, man. That's right. There's certain stains, and that's what I'm saying. Jake is going to, to, to Islam and all of this. They're drinking from poison wells, man. They don't even understand that that water ain't going to cleanse you, man. you got to drink of the water of the world of the Lord, man. Yeah. That, that, this is the water. This is the only water that's, 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 that's clean enough, pure enough to actually cleanse your, your wicked ways, man. Yeah. You know? And that's how what the, what the Lord says he's going to change us, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that change must come. Yep, yeah. and it says, it says, O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall vain thoughts lodge within thee? Because it's a vain thought to actually do what you're doing, do as thou wilt, and think that you ain't going, you know, you ain't going to be judged for it, or you know, you just you, everything is vanity. Uh, King Solomon said that all is vanity under the sun, man. Mm -hmm. Everything, if it's outside of the bounds of the scriptures. Everything is fucking vanity, man. All right? And, 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 and Jake loves to be proud and vain, man. That's what Jake's all about, man. But we're, we're about trying to put that... The scripture says we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Trying to put that beyond us. Or be, behind us. You know? That's Satan. You know? But yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I had on that one. All right, I've got uh, a couple of scriptures. Can't. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually... And satisfy thy soul in drought, and mm. make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and Ooh. like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And you know what? Um, you know, with, with all respect, I wanted to talk about Apostle Ha, because one time Apostle Kabar bring out a video explaining Apostle Ha's name, okay? Uh, and, you know, not the Hebrew name, his actual name, and it actually went back to being a spring like man, okay? And a lot, and and Apostle Ha, you know, he, the, the Lord's dealing with him, and he and he he brings out this water through the Lord onto the onto the rest of the congregation, man. Mm. Okay, and we're and we're watered up by that, man. And that's a beautiful thing, you know. That's a Norman omen right there. And going back to what we said about Ezekiel thirty-seven, those dry bones in the valley, where it says that uh, the Lord's going to make fat thy bones, man. Okay, and how does he, how does the Lord going to do that through this word, man? Through this word, through giving the understanding of this word, man. You know? Kind. I've got another one. Kind. I've still got your precepts in Revelation as well. Kind. You might as well get that first and then we'll get this. All right. What do you want? Uh, 22 first? Kind, kind. Revelation 22 and 17. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him heareth, him that heareth say, come and let him that is a thirst, come. Let him that heareth, hear it spiritually. Yep. Okay. And him that is a thirst spiritually, because when you're out in the world, right? When you ain't, if hey, the elect man, they're gonna be out there and they're gonna be constantly seeking, seeking you shall find. Okay, the Lord is gonna draw them to them, man, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna he's gonna draw what's in them out of them. He's gonna draw that like drawing water, man. Okay, that's what the Lord's gonna do, and he's gonna he's gonna flood them with 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 the salvation, the wells of salvation. Can't. That's what's gonna happen. 
And that is and that is what you want to stay in, man. Okay? You don't want to start going thirsty. You don't want to start running out of water. That's why we pray unto the Lord, man. Okay? You know? Get more on that? Yep. And it says, And let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Freely, man. We ain't... <laughs> there ain't no charge for this, man. Okay? Those that it's meant for, he's going to get it. I've got a quick uh, precept oh, for you. Yeah, Sorry. well, the scripture says, Freely you have received, freely, freely give. give. That's and that's right. that that's that living water, man. Yeah. You, how you gonna how you gonna charge living water? How you gonna you know you know you see a living water in the stream, some guys are coming, you know, guys that's supposed to be of the hopeful elect, they're actually thirsty. They're coming to you to drink of that water. Yeah. When did when did the Lord say, yo, yo, put a price tag on that? Yeah. Yo, charge these man, yo, sell this water. Yo, trust me, this is the best. Put a sticker on it, fuck Evian and that. Yo, fuck F Fuji and all of that. I got the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what I'm saying. The Lord didn't say make uh, his uh, 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 this uh, a thing of merchandise, man. You know the Lord got carnal for niggas doing shit like that. Okay. You know. I was gonna say the scriptures say uh, when you give these one of these little ones a cup, cup of water, water mm. right? So when you come to your brother and, you, and your brother might be going through something or whatever, you 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 hit him. The Lord put a spirit on you to say something to him, and you be you know reasoning on something to help that brother, or it might be a rebuke. It might come a different way, and then and you you're, you're giving them a cup of water. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, the Lord's giving you that portion of water to give to that brother, man. You know? Um, you done on that? Yep. Can I go preset quickly? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed mm. and my blessing upon thine offspring. Mm. Okay? So this is, hey, what we do this, man, because... The Lord has given us the faith and our Lord willing continues to give us that faith to the end, till to, to we, we endure to the end for his name. I hope that the Lord keeps doing that, man, because you know what? Uh, we hate it here, man, okay? All right? Some of, some of us don't have children. We want to have children, man. And some of us do have children and then we, we can't even enjoy them, man, mm. okay? We want to see our, our offspring, man, do, doing well, man, okay? We want to see our... Because really, what's our if we are the elect, who's our offspring? Is it not the nation of Israel? We want to see our people doing well, man. When we're out there rebuking you, telling you shit, you're coming up to us with this emotion and shit, we really love you, man. But you know what? We can't do that no more, man. Okay? Because, hey, if you're coming against the Lord, then that's why we come, we come the way that we come against you, man. Right now, we hate the two thirds, man. We hate the ones that are going off against the Lord, man. But we really, we really love our people, man. So that's why when, when someone hears this truth and they come in, we love Israel, man. Okay? Hey, well, hey, well Yahweh Shai wept, man. All right. right, hey, and then another thing is this how much more love do you have to show? Hey, the Lord is the perfect example, Go he on. died for the sins of the nation of Israel, man. There's <sighs> no greater gift than that. But two thirds of our people are like, Fuck that, I don't care about that. They said, Kill him, let his blood. We have no king but Caesar, yeah, let his blood be upon us and our children, man. Because you said about you know, we want to see our offspring grow up and all of that, yeah, in righteousness, man. Right. Yes, we do, yeah. The scripture says that, wait, there's nine things I've judged in my heart to be happy. You know, a man that have the the, uh, the joy to see the uh, to see uh, the life of his children, and the revenge of his enemies, man, the fall of his enemies, man. These 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 are the top things that make the the, the Lord's happy, man. Mm -hmm. You know. So what you got to understand is that, hey, man, two thirds of our people, man, they just ain't gonna get right. Okay. They just they don't give a shit about the Lord dying for their for their sins, man. That's right. You know. And one of the first things you learn in this truth when you first come in is the name of the Lord and that you're an Israelite. It's one of the first things you learn, man. And this next verse is going to go into that, man. Uh, the verse after. And they, shall, and they shall spring up among the grass as willows by the watercourses. One shall say, I am Yahweh's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Mm. And that's when you come into this knowledge, man. That's one of the first things that you learn. And you start coming up the right way, you know. Can't. Through these filtering your life, really, through the scriptures, man, because that is the real life. Yeah, through the process of being washed. That's right. And that's how you do it through the process of being washed, which is a gift, you know. Not not, not dipping yourself in a fucking dirty, filthy, you know, you know, you know water with fluoride in it, man. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't what the Lord is talking about, man. You guys got to get out of this carnal mentality. But hey, but the scripture said, "A carnal man receiveth not the things of the spirit." That's right. You know, it, that's why I'm saying this. This thing is a gift. And I got revelations here. Can't. It's Revelation twenty one and and six. Close up on this one. Okay, I got yeah. one more. Can't, can't, can't. Close up Revelation on twenty one and six. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Mm. All right? Why does it constantly repeat of the water of the fountain of life? Mm -hmm. The well of water springing up into everlasting life. It is a spirit that quickeneth. That's These right. words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and, and they, they are, are life. life. Look, constantly the spirit, the water, life, the word, constantly reiterating, man. Who's the word? The Lord. And what did the Lord say? I am the way. That's I am it. the truth. I am the life. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And no man cometh to the Father, Father. but by him, mm. man. That's right. Right? Brakas of Yahweh by Simeon That's right. You know, and I got this one last one here. Come on, come on. Revelation seven seventeen. Thousand precepts, baby. Hey, let's go. <laughs> hey, I'm, oh, oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> Revelation seven seventeen. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. Mm -hmm. Right? Who is the lamb? Mm -hmm. This is John one thirty six. And looking upon Yahweh Shai as he walked, he saith, "Behold, the Lamb of God." So that's talking about Yahweh Shai. That's right. Right. So it's back in Revelation seven seventeen. For the lamb which is Yahweh Shai, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. Mm. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's beautiful because hey, the Lord is the ultimate shepherd, man. Mm. And he's going to lead these sheep to what? What, do you, what does a shepherd do? He leads them to, to, water. to, to water, man. He mm -hmm. leads them to, to, to fertile pastures, man. Mm. To green pastures that are being watered and nourished. Okay? And that's um. what the Lord's doing, man. The Lord is right now... He's building up and, 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 and leading his people, man. Come okay? on. He's leading his people into, into, into what? Salvation. Because he is the saviour. Come on. Hey, and it's a spirit. Because last night, a spirit got on to me just to watch a documentary. And I was watching about elephants and how they migrate from waterhole to waterhole in the Sahara Desert. Mm. And, bro, the, the casualties of death are immense. It's, bro, it makes you realise how important water is. Come if on. there is no rain... To, to feed the, uh, to, 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 to quench the thirst of an elephant, they just drop dead. They lose.